Well, one thing you might not have seen, as, as, as Kim was walking down there, you looked me right in the eye and you went... Like this, short like this. Ooh, is that how you feel when you look back on your time in the Big well, Brother I house? Well, I do. I cringe. It was the worst job I've ever done on television. Mm. Um, I did it for the money. Of course, yeah. that's what... Do so, you know, they're staying there for no money, do you? I'd be mad. <laughs> and, well, um... how, how do you feel about the fact that that's what you're known for? Because, you know, we've, we've known you on telly for, for many years. Yep. This is what obviously what, you know, everybody is talking about at the moment. But is that the real you. If, if we were to ask you, who is Kim, what would you say? I have two sides to my character. I do live a very quiet life. If nobody knocks my door for a week, thank you. I don't want to look at anybody. Mm. I have my lovely husband. We've got a little cat. We've never had kids. I like peace and quiet. I never look for trouble. There's too much about anyway. Mm. You bring me trouble, I'll let you have it with both barrels. Did you, Kim, did you hear us earlier talking about what effect yep. that our childhoods have on yes. a person? You, you had a really tough childhood, didn't you? And I did. I mean, like many other people, I did. Very sad, uh, very unloved. Um, my mother's favourite expression was, um, if, I just, if I know what you're going to be, I've got to send you back. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, it's, it's, it's... You never get over it. I mean, I'm 74 now, and... Um, but I don't let it affect my life. I mean, crikey, I've got a great life. But I can, every day of the week, see a mum and dad with a little child. I do all the time. And they, they say, are oh, you all right? And I think, oh, aren't they a good mum and dad? They never dad. kissed you, they called you I, I never had that, you see. What happened with you and your dad? Well, my dad was a Royal Marine, and he was a, a rather a naughty man, a bit of touch of the old naughty bits with me when he couldn't get away with it. You mean he abused you? Oh, he did, yes. But, um, Physically abused you? Oh, yes. Yes, oh, yes. And what age did it start? Oh, I was very young. And I remember um, my mother used to beat me up with carpet brushes, smash them onto here and smash them onto there. Did you, just stop... Let me stop you just for a minute. Did your mum believe you? Did you tell your mum? No, I never told her. I, 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 I didn't know how to tell her. We I didn't forget, when I was a little girl, you. we didn't discuss that thing, you know. So I mean, it was sexual goodness. abuse? Oh, yes. But, um... But... but it, well, what it did to me was, believe it or not, having seen me on Big Brother, you, if you laugh, I don't blame you. I'm a very kind person. I'm a softy. Mm. Oh, I'm a soft, silly old fool of Until a woman. you're crossed. But don't start on me for no reasons other than you want to get me out of a house because I will crucify you. But, yeah, and, and in a way, that's what it, what it felt like when you saw it. It's Terrible. almost like you've got a tank and you're just shooting bullets right. before anyone comes so it's at you. It's called survival. And, uh, and uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you align that to your childhood, do you think? Well, I was on my own since I was just over 15, living in bed sits, filthy as bed sits I could afford a pound a week, you know, and uh, keeping the roof over my head. And then I went in to live in to clean to get a roof over my head. So I pretty much had a tough time. Many people have had a tougher time than me. Let's not start that. I, yeah. Many have had a tougher time than me. Come on now. But it's made me... I don't want trouble. Mm. I want but, peace. But when you start it, it's like a roller coaster that... I Jeff don't start it. OK, but when... <laughs> you don't start it, but if something winds you up. When Nicola said about you've never been a mother, that was pretty cruel, wasn't Well, it? Nicola had a gob that was so disgusting. But about motherhood. It needed stitching up. Mm. Um, well, Nicola came out with the cruelest things. She doesn't know me from Adam. The most brutal things to me. Uh, horrible, nasty. And you, uh, thank God you've never been a mother, which meant... I, that you've read my book. Um, but, but can she I just interject here? She, she hadn't, speaks. actually. And so she didn't know your, your background. No, she shouldn't open the gob, should she? Well, I mean, obviously, I'm, all I'm pointing out is obviously that, that she didn't know your circumstances. If, if anybody of you here haven't read Kim's book, do you want to just explain what we're talking about here? Because it's a terribly, terribly sad story. Well, it was. Uh, I was a young woman, I was pregnant, and... Um, I was almost six months. I lost the baby, and, um, and you were at home on your own. A little boy, time. yeah. And uh, I it lost the baby. Waters broke, and I was on my own. Delivered him in a blue bowl, and um, you know, then I buried him in the park. You know, um, in a tea towel, and um, it was very sad. You know, hmm. very sad because there was a lot of stigma attached to it. Not that it was very sad for the boy. You know, little boy, and um, I, I love I love children. I love them.